Okay, hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Mia. And I'm Josh. And we're back to bring you all things property. Sorry, we've had a short break, but we're back now. We've got loads more content coming your way. So today, guys, we're gonna talk about property in the pandemic. Obviously, there's been a lot that's happened to the property market over recent times. Definitely. Uh, especially during the first lockdown and how it's actually progressed to the second to third lockdown now. Oh, so, fifth, sixth, fifth, yeah, yeah, seventh. Yeah, so, yeah, <laughs> So um, stick around, we're gonna show you lots of facts and statistics uh, for you guys out there that are interested in investing in property. So guys, don't forget to hit the like button below and subscribe. And we also got a lot of free content on our website, so be sure to check that out as well down below. And also, if you guys have anything you want us to do or talk about, just let us know in the comments and we'd love to cover those topics for you. So guys, let's talk about the first point here, which is obviously going to be the growth. So that's price growth. Yeah. Um, so we actually hit a six year high in the UK. And this, and this is obviously because people wanted to move to more spacious housing, which is totally understandable. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, looking at my laptop here, we're gonna hit you with some facts and statistics. So uh, the annual uh, growth, according to Nationwide Building Society, was actually up to 7.3%. Uh, so the UK average house price actually stood at a record year high. That's at 245,000. Uh, that was just as of last year, around September and August. And London's average house price as well hit a record high. That's at 496,000 uh, pounds. That was in September, 2020. Okay guys, so another thing that's been really important going on in the property world during the pandemic is the stamp duty holiday. I'm sure a lot of you would have already heard of this because it was in the newspapers a lot. The stamp duty holiday goes on to the 31st of March, so it should be ending quite soon, but there are rumors it could be extended for a further six weeks, so we'll all have to play it by ear when it comes to that. But basically, the stamp duty holiday means properties up to a value of 500,000 pounds, you won't have to pay any stamp duty on it. So if you don't know what stamp duty means already, it's a tax every single person will have to pay on any yeah. property they buy. And the amount kind of correlates to the value of the property. So from about 125 to 250,000 is um, about 2%. Yeah. From 250 to about 900,000, so that's gonna be the only two brackets that apply to the stamp duty holiday, it's about 5%. So this is a really good thing for investors, home buyers, because it can save you thousands and thousands of pounds, and that will really help your profit margins. Exactly. One other impact this did have is sellers kind of caught on to this, that a lot of people were very excited to buy and cash, on the, uh, cash in on the stamp duty holiday. So it did kind of sway the market to a seller's market. A lot of other investors we know have had a lot of sellers tell them that they want cash offers, Definitely. no chains, yeah. be a bit more demanding. Even though this is the case, it's still a great time to invest as you can save a lot of money on the stamp duty and there are still great deals to be found everywhere. So don't let that put you off and we definitely think this is something you should look into and maybe cash in on. While the time lasts. <laughs> Guys, the next point let's talk about here is going to be viewings. So of course, it's been a bumpy ride in viewings throughout recent times. However, yeah. conducting viewings is still applicable and easy to do during lockdown. That's not a problem at all. Uh, they did manage to let that slide to an extent. Now, virtual viewings are also possible as well. Um, this is obviously picked up a lot in recent times. Yeah. Um, and this is obviously, of course, if you didn't want to go to anybody's house for obvious reasons, uh, that virtual viewing will be there for you. Um, so let's also talk about listings. So a lot of uh, companies we've seen online on Zoopla and Rightmove, uh, they do provide videos of the housing, yeah. uh, the, sorry, the houses as well. So you can also watch those videos if the uh, virtual viewing wasn't ready um, straight away. And also uh, auctions as well. So of course, online auctions have picked up a lot in recent times. So you can still um, jump on those if you was interested in auctions. Definitely. Of course, it's still important to be careful when buying properties in auctions. So make yeah. sure you've got a lot of research 
and they will still send you your information pack for that auction as well. Yep, so a cheap price may suggest there might be some more issues you're unaware of, so make sure you really do your research and don't just get swept up in the fact you can buy a house for dirt cheap, because there may be more sinister reasons for that. Exactly. Okay guys, so one thing we've heard bounced around a lot at the moment is that people are too scared to invest or think it's a bad time. Even a few investors that are quite close to us have backed off and said they're going to wait until after the pandemic, which is something me and Josh don't agree with at all. At even all. when it seems like the worst of times, in property it's often the best of times. Exactly. For example, the 2008 um, recession, it was like the property market crashed and everyone thought this is the worst thing for property, for landlords, what are they going to do? But in reality, it actually created a great opportunity for landlords to buy really cheap properties, rent them out, have a way lower cost in there so make much better returns. And then the market went straight back up and they made loads of money on capital growth on that property. And the pandemic is the exact same. Don't let crises mm -hmm. or the media put you off because it's really not that bad. And as Josh said, it's actually gone through a mini boom in the last year or so during the pandemic due to the stamp duty holiday so one of our favorite quotes about property is a bad property investment is like a bad haircut it will always grow out in the end if you walk into your property investment with a long-term view you can never make a bad investment there may be bumps in the road and it may be slightly rougher patches than others but your property should always accumulate in value and it will always turn out okay so we definitely think don't let the negative naysayers put you off, don't let the media scare you, don't let the worry warts scare you for following your dreams. We think if you think the time is now, you should definitely go for it. So guys, let's move on to the next point, which is obviously all about tenants. So um, the only thing that can possibly happen to the landlord is a tenancy agreement could uh, change a bit differently. Uh, yeah. Of course, the tenant now has protection um, they have more leeway when paying rent on the property, which is mm -hmm. good news for them. Um, they give the, uh, they have more peace of mind, yeah. and of course, uh, the landlord can also help the tenant out in that way as well. Uh, obviously, being realistic and what's actually comfortable for the tenant. So usually, guys, you could actually evict your tenant uh, quite quickly. However, luckily, there's been a change. So on the 29th of August, uh, 2020. Uh, the coronavirus act of 2020 stated that you cannot evict your tenant without six month notice yeah so this is good like i said it provides peace of mind for the tenant and of course the landlord can obviously think about if he wanted to do that uh, anyway so to follow on from what josh just said obviously this all can affect your return slightly as a landlord but honestly these are really hard times for everyone mm -hmm. so we think it's much better to take an understanding approach and work through it together as a team rather than just jumping to evict them complaining feeling bad for yourself you have to understand if it's hitting your returns there's probably a really good reason why they can't pay and the tenants are probably going through a really hard time themselves so a common expression my mum always said to me when i was young and i'm sure all of your mums would have said too treat others how you would like to be treated. And we think that is the number one rule if you're gonna be a landlord that you should take when dealing with your clients. Think if you were in their position, what kindness would you want someone else to do for you and kind of pay that forward. So we have know someone quite close to us, an investor has a flat about 20 minutes from here. Uh, a young couple is living in it and they were a month late on their rent. Instead of jumping to eviction, bad mouthing them, doing all sorts, instead the landlord has just worked out a payment plan with them to pay off I think about £50 a month for the foreseeable future until that one month's rent debt is cleared. So those are good solutions for you out there. It's best to work with your tenants rather than against them. Obviously if you have a nightmare tenant who's never paid anyway, trashed your property, is getting complaints from the neighbours, disruptive, bad attitude, the only option is to evict. But if these tenants have always been good to you and paid on time, better to go in there, try and understand what's going on and work out something that's a win-win for both of you. Because that's gonna make your work relationship a lot easier and it's much nicer to be kind and a good person than nasty and really put them in a worse spot. So really take this pay it forward. We've seen investors even send pandemic care packages to their tenants with chocolates, face masks, making sure they're okay. So you can take this as far as you want, but as a landlord, it really is your job, we think, to work with your tenants rather than against them. Exactly. So guys, we hope you liked watching this video. Yep. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below. 
Also head over to our website, a lot of free content there and also our new ebook is there as well. So guys, yeah. we'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching and take care.